in this video, we're going to see what happens if you have mismatched uh, VLANs. Let's say, for example, that uh, you have two switches, layer three switches, and uh, those switches are connected via a trunk port, and uh, you have um, IP addresses, let's say, uh, switch one, you have an IP address of 10.1.1.1 slash 24, and on the other switch, you have 10.1.1.2 slash 24. And uh, let's say that uh, you have a port configured on those uh, between the switches and those uh, and uh, one switch has a native VLAN of one and another switch has a native VLAN of two. Uh, you think um, the port is gonna come up. So that's the question that we're gonna answer in this video. So let's create a simple topology here, just two switches. And I'm gonna use a uh, crossover cable and you have to you can just fast forward okay so I'm gonna nope Actually, you can just hmm, okay. Let's go to it's the uh, it's the switch translating this uh, character that I typed, trying to see if uh, it's basically the switch is trying to understand this uh, command that I. That I type, but it's taking too long. So uh, let's go to switch to the other switch. Okay, now I'm gonna actually uh, no IP domain lookup. So this is this will be switch two. Save uh, switch two. Oops. Switch two. This one is switch one. Okay. So uh, these switches are using gig one slash zero slash one on both. I mean, <clears throat> um, both uh, switches are using the same port. So Let's uh, do a show IP interface. So it's up, up, and it doesn't have any configuration on both switches. Let me see the, the default uh, configuration of that switch. Okay, so 
I mean of that port. So basically, that uh, that port is uh, an ask port by default. Because if it wasn't, uh, we're gonna see that port uh, in this in the output of a of this command here, show interface trunk. But uh, nothing. There's no output. So we're gonna go ahead and configure it as a trunk port. So this switch port uh, trunk encapsulation that one mode oops. Okay, so it's up. Show run. I'm just gonna copy and paste these commands here. These commands to switch to. So do a no IP domain lookup. Okay. Let's check S2. Let's compare the configurations. So they have now the same configurations. So I can just do a show interface trunk. So now you see that gig one slash zero slash one is a trunk port. And the native VLAN is one by default. Let's do a show interface trunk on this switch also. So same uh, output. Uh, switch two has a native VLAN of one also. So now we're gonna configure the default. Uh, show IP interface brief. This VLAN one here, you can't delete this. Uh, let me try it. So default interface VLAN VLAN one may be not may not be deleted. So you cannot delete it. But like I said in the introduction, uh, I'm gonna actually configure a, an IP address. On the on this interface, so I'm gonna do a show. I mean IP address 10.1.1.1 two five five dot two five No shut this interface, and I'm gonna do the same thing on on the switch to. Can do this. You can just copy and paste this, right? One, and then on this side, we make it two. No shot. And okay. Show. Interface brief show IP interface. <clears throat> so let me see if I can ping the the uh, was let me see the, if I can ping ten dot one dot one dot two. So, um, Okay, I can ping it. 
let me do a show interface run again. Okay, so we have verified that the default native VLAN on the uh, on the trunk is uh, native. I mean one. So let's try to actually make the. Uh, I mean, let's try to use a different native VLAN on switch two. So I'm gonna go to. The trunk port is actually this. I'm just copy and paste this. Oops. Switch port, uh, trunk, in a VLAN 2. Oops. Okay, so as soon as I configure that command, we see on the on switch one this uh, error here, error message here. Uh, CDP 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 for native VLAN mismatch, native VLAN mismatch discovered on gigabit one zero one when each s2 gigabit ethernet one zero one zero one so basically uh, let me do a show interface brief Well, the the uh, port is still up here, still up. But let me try to. We can also do this just to verify with the native VLAN. So here you see that native VLAN is two, and let me check if VLAN two is automatically automatically created. Okay, it's not automatically created. You can actually create it just for our purposes. Okay, so as soon as I created the VLAN two, we get this, we get these error messages here. So received the BPDU with inconsistent. Pure VLAN ID one on okay so uh, blocking gigabit Ethernet one slash zero slash one on inconsistent local VLAN so okay native VLAN is one let me do a show. IP interface brief again. Yeah, it's still up, up. But we are getting this error message here saying that we have a native VLAN mismatch on uh, the ports. So gigabit one slash zero slash one switch to and this is uh, switch one I mean I'm not not sure what this is but we know that you know uh, this strong port here doesn't have the same native billion so It's actually the the color of the we we see that these ports are have uh, amber on them. 
or amber lights on them. And do a show IP interface brief again. Okay, so let me ping 10.1.1.2 again. Okay, we cannot ping that IP address. So we have answered the question uh, that the question earlier was, you know, if we have different native VLANs on uh, two switches, and this, uh, and this, in our case, these switches here, they cannot see each other, even if they have on the same, even if they are configured on the same networks. So they gotta have the same native VLAN. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually going to make the VLAN on switch or S1. I'm going to make the native VLAN as 2. So show, show run. I'm just going to copy and paste this, these commands here. But we need to make, we need to create VLAN 2 first. Okay, gonna paste the commands. Show interface trunk. Show interface trunk. So now they are on the same VLAN again. So let me show you the. Let me just fast forward. Let me just uh, fast forward the span and tree convergence. Okay, so the, the lights are green now, so I think we can now ping. Uh, let's still ping from piece from S2. So ping that 10.1.1.1. Okay, I can ping it. So we just have to remember that uh, native VLAN. I mean switches, Cisco switches have native VLAN of 1 and if the trunk is not configured with uh, any, with another, with a different native VLAN, the default native VLAN is 1. And also by default, uh, all VLANs are allowed on the trunk ports. So that's it in this video. Um, I just want to just wanted to make a short video about uh, I mean about this particular topic. So thanks for watching.